right. Pretty good hand, no double blue, but you know, it happens a lot with that white deck. I see decent hand against red. I have turn two bear, turn free play, and most likely a shadow to sky on turn four, so that's good. Interesting draw step. So it's pretty hard for the new red version to have a 4-4 four, four steam can. You need to be a bit, tiny bit worried about MX. Online to fairy minus on steam can, honestly. That's you know, probably the best line. It uses my mana the best. The fairy's like not, it's fine against red, but it's like super precious. All right, no point in blocking. I could have plus two plus, so I guess I could block the champion. But... All right, let's see. So now I can shatter the sky. I just need to get to Dream Shoulder in like a reasonable shape and I should be able to win. Do I want to give them another Robber of the Rich hit? I think I do lose my wall next turn if I shatter the sky. It's kind of close. Hey Woody, I'm playing a blue light control. I'm playing the list that Zach Allen won the classic list this weekend. Birth of Melodies looks so nice in this deck, yeah. I think it comes out in a bunch of matchups. But it is, it is, obviously, the nuts against the red deck. I mean, they can overpower it, but... It's pretty good. I'm just gonna be playing some stock deck lists from this weekend. I've also been playing standard on the side. Ooh, Banishing Light? That's not... That bad. All right, I'll block now the robber. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna play for worlds though. We'll see. This is like makes up like testing and just hanging out and I'm guessing people. Well, I want to see some standard right now too. Brent Wilson, thank you for the 10 months, appreciate it. What do you think of your blue-white inverter matchup with blue-white? Um, I didn't play it a ton. I played, you know, I played a few matches against Canister. It felt pretty good there. I think we split matches, but I, I made some bad mistakes and I was like missing a few things and then when we were playing online, me and the two other guys who were kind of playing similar deck, we were like undefeated against Blue Black Inverter. Problem is not the Inverter matchup. I think the Inverter matchup is good with Blue Eyes, especially if you're not playing Seal Away. It's a lot of damage. Uh, so I take six, 12, I go down to nine. I get rid of Torbran. I go up to 14, all right, yeah. I think the matchup is good. Hmm, this is, I don't have second blue. I was gonna say this is better than uh, Banishing Light. I, I don't know if I'd recommend playing blue white at the, in Phoenix though. Kind of depends, because it's not great against Breach. It's not great against Mono Black. I don't think it's that great against the Wayfinder Urodex, but
was that on the line? Wait, I thought this is canister stream. How can I undo this? Dude, I'm done. Canister is just gonna take all my viewers. At least canister doesn't play blue eyed control. That's the only thing that I've left, you know? It's literally the only thing I have going for me right now. Cancer won't play control decks. There's a Jeskai Feral's Lays that won a Moto tournament, which looks pretty nice. Yeah, I saw the PTQ results was number one. I was, I was in Canister's chat earlier, and Sauce says, well, I kind of knew he said it yesterday, but Sauce says first place was Jeskai Fires, and then hmm. he said second, third, and fourth were all blue white control, and then five, six, seven, eight were all mono red? Something like that? I mean, we'll, we'll know for sure tonight and stuff. Sadito, you know. Did I have a good time in Brussels? Um, Yeah, pretty good, honestly. Thursday was fine. We did a draft, got there, went to the side straight away, did a draft, hung out. I mean, obviously, tournament didn't go super well, you know. I... I got to be the feature drafter, which was cool. I didn't embarrass myself in the draft, which was cool. I beat Yol in the first round, actually. <laughs> I don't think I need to gamble here, right? I'm in fine shape if I just bounce a Steamkin, or am I not? I'll just stick it on tap step. I feel like it's suspicious that I didn't try to banishing light my bench. I don't know, they're just not playing into Absorb, I guess. Yeah, honestly, I had a good time. So, yeah, draft went okay. I went 2 1. Honestly, I could have lost all the matches I played. Uh, Pod was tough, and my opponents were tough. I won a super close. Against Yul, it was like kind of close because if I don't draw that Revoke Existence in game one to get rid of his Shepherd, I'd probably just lose. Then second game wasn't close. Round two, I got utterly demolished by... I mean, people saw that on the stream. Oh, wait, is that just seven? Mm -mm. I'm talking a lot, but I'm just dying here. Hmm. Does that to a burn spell? Good thing is they don't play a ton of burn spells. Yeah, I got trained over. I, I think my deck was pretty good, but I don't think it lined up super well against uh, against like big red green monsters. In the third round, I played against a Swedish player who beat me in, in Modern in Barcelona. And he was red-green too, and we played a super, super, super close match, like basically as close as it gets, and I, had, uh, I ended up winning. Pablo, thanks for the five months. Thank you so much. And so that was draft. Then round four, I got paired against Is It Emerge? That's the... Um, the deck was the Phoenix that has Ferocious and Elder Deep Fiend. Um, I wasn't too sure what to make about the matchup. I'd played it once or twice online. I thought it was probably going to be okay, but I wasn't sure. And I just had really good draws both games. Game one, I basically needed him not to have his one Stubborn Denial main deck, and he didn't, and I was able to resolve a dig. And then game two, he stumbled a bit and had like perfect curve. Then I lost to Blue White Spirits. Um, game one, I kept a two lander and I like can't trip like three or four times, and I I I didn't draw for land until it was way too late. Game two, I mulligan. I had kind of a mediocre hand, and he had a pretty good draw. So yeah, I think Spirits matchups like kind of close. From what I've heard, it like favors Blue White actually. But, um, 
the guy actually said after the match that he played he thought it was good for him but then he played the match up a bunch against his friend and he wasn't doing that well so it's kind of funny that he actually mentioned that but so that was rough then i got paired in the mirror my opponent i think played pretty well i think we both played pretty well and both pretty fast and we both probably made like a few small mistakes and I think he got punished a bit harder for his small mistakes. No, the spirits was just blue white. Um, oh, this is awkward. This is what happens when you're just talking and not paying a lick of attention. All right. Oh. That is pretty awkward. Never punished. Wait, why did I play it on my turn? Oh my god. Alright, well whatever. Um so yeah, blue white mirror I think I actually sideboarded poorly. I didn't bring in the second four mana Elspeth, and my opponent almost got me was his Four mana Elspeth, I had to counter it a bunch of times and ground through it, and I needed a few lucky top decks. And honestly, it's tough. We played both pretty fast, I think, and we still only finished uh, the match. Was We only played two games, we both played fast. And the they didn't even, I mean, they went long, but not that long for blue white games. and. We still only had nine minutes left on the clock for the third game, if we had to play a third game. But it's kind of what you sign up for. If, if you play blue-white control in pretty much any format these days and you get paired in the mirror match, you're most likely gonna draw if you if someone doesn't just win 1-0 or 2-0. Wait, why couldn't I? Oh, I couldn't block. Just don't know what any of the cards do. All right, well, this game was kind of a mess. It's okay. Wait, what? Eli, we got paired at the PT? That was you? That was you, the... the is it a merge player? That's a lot of sideboard cards. All right, inside out... I think I can probably trim some Teferi. Veto out. What else should I cut? Maybe Narset, because I have a bunch of creatures. It's kind of nice to have some Planeswalker with Elspeth Conquered F. Devout Decree, da da da. Could honestly trim Absorb. I don't hate it. That's probably not great. <laughs> Definitely want to want all these. I guess I'd keep trimming planeswalkers. I guess I trimmed our sets. You did that was you and you didn't tell me who you were, really? Dude, you should have told me that was you. That's funny. By the way, why did you... I don't know if it mattered, but when I... F when I Field of Rune... It, when I used Field of Rune on your land in game two, you got another mountain, and I felt like... You should have maybe got an island? I don't know. I'm assuming you wouldn't make, like... Such a basic mistake, but maybe you didn't never needed that other island. Anyways, yeah, mirror match. Then I got paired. That, so I was forced when you did to win one of the last two. I got paired against the French Blue Green Ram deck. They were basically playing Blue Green Ram was Wayfinder, some Elves, some Grazers, Uro, kind of like. I was the Izay Emerge player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chef told me it was you, uh. Silly cream. 
When did it rob? Wham. Or ether gas. Not super good. I still set on not playing Omen and UW Pioneer. I'm just gonna use it. It saves me life, makes them commit. Maybe I don't have to wrath. Hey Ochi, thanks for the 17 months. And Cedar Cream, thanks for the almost two years. Still set on not playing Omen in Blue White Pioneer. Uh, sounds pretty bad. I don't know why you, when you're gonna have time to play Omen in that deck. I mean, Omen is nice in the inverter deck because you need more ways to dig and... And it's a blue permanent for Thassa's Oracle, which is relevant sometimes. I don't think you have time in blue-white control. Yeah, blue-green ramp. He won the die roll in both game ones and game three. He had turn one, like game one, he had turn one elf. Turn to Pilgrimage, and I kind of stumbled. I didn't have a counter for his um, for his first Cavalier, and then the game was like really hard after that. Game two, I actually thought I was gonna. I mean, it seemed like a bad matchup. I actually thought I was gonna win, lose game two as well. Um, let's see, I'm at twenty. The robber still not doing much. Could shatter this guy now, though. Because what if they play Annex? I guess I have that. Shatter the Sky, Hallowed Fountain Tab. They have three cards in hand. Um. Yeah, I don't know how how close that matchup is. How it, it felt tough. Like, Mono Green Ramp is a good matchup. I think some of the blue green versions are probably fine matchups, but the, the Wayfinder Uro, I mean, that alone is whatever, but it's that plus the rest. Yeah, game two was pretty sweet, it was pretty close to. Um, so I'm gonna take free, da da da, I can shatter the sky. I don't wanna make a token just to prevent some damage. I think I'll just play Omen, I can take some damage, I'd rather just. Uh... Sure. And then in the third game, he went turn one elf. Turn to island tracker. I had ether gust, and I decided to just play ether gust in his. Oh right, I was supposed to put land on top. I promise that's not a mistake I usually make when I'm not uh, streaming. Anyways. I decided to go for his draw step because, like, well, if I ether gust on my turn and he just plays it again, like, if he has a counter, he has a counter. Oh well, you know, kind of a thing. Oh wait, I. Why is Sun's Archon Grace in my hand? Wait. Oh no, was it a different one? I don't know. I'm so confused right now. Anyways, yeah. So I went for the draw step, ether gust. And he just had dispute, so that was that. You know, there was not much coming back from there. And then last round, I get paired against Jeskai Breach. So basically, he was playing the Breach combo deck without the green card, and instead he had four Fiery Impulse, which is a red two damage to a creature and three damage to have Spell Mastery. And he was playing four Sensor, so he was playing like more reactive cards. And I somehow won game one. I actually made a horrendous mistake. Like game one just went super long. He couldn't go off early and I got to like a bunch of mana. And I got to a point where I had four hard counters in hand and all I had to do was like counter the four breaches. And for some reason I countered a dig. And I would have lost if he got in a bit more lucky. He just, I countered three breaches and then he didn't find the fourth one or else I would have lost. And then all of the two sideboard games, which felt kind of unlucky. I think my games after sideboard were, my draws were like not the greatest. And I think I got, I think I made a small sideboard mistake and got punished really hard for it basically is what happened. Um, 
I was kind of in a, you know, I basically left two five mana Teferi and I left one three mana Teferi in the sideboard for some reason. And then in game two, I drew both five mana Teferi. And I think if I had like one three mana Teferi instead, I'd probably win. I mean, I don't know, you know, I like to torture myself and who knows how I would have, but yeah, I think basically I messed up and I got paid the price and then third game was pretty close. I was like one turn away from killing him. He had to go off. Like both games, he got like game two, I got him down to two was four mana Elspeth and he went off. And then game three, he went off. And if I get another on that step, I think I'm in a really uh, solid spot, so. I don't know. I was, I was pretty upset. I was a bit disappointed not to make day two. I was like, yeah, I was like kind of so tough. And then I didn't want, I didn't feel like playing the GP. I didn't want to play blue white control again, but then I kind of regretted not playing the GP. My next day I was like, oh, I kind of wish I was playing. I kind of, I might have tried playing Kethis combo or one of the combo decks if I played the GP. I didn't feel like playing blue white again, but it was cool. I spent all Saturday just hanging out with Harry, basically. I was like, Harry, I'm not playing the GP. And he's like, I didn't feel on a play. So he just unregistered from the GP and we just hung out and just railbird it. It was cool. Um, I don't know how everyone finished in the GP, but there's a bunch of people, a bunch of the subs and a bunch of people playing blue eyed control who were doing okay in the GP. Um, it, was, it was cool. And then Sunday, basically we just played was raf in the hotel lobby we just played standard was raf all day was tested for worlds so i was it was i had a good time Arise, arise, riders of the Odin. Spear shall be shaken, shield shall be splinter, age a sword day, a red day ere the sun rises. Ride now, ride now, ride. Ride for ruin and the world's ending. Death, death, death. Fourth ear lingers. Dude, I have no idea what that's about, but I'm sure someone appreciated that. Thanks, Felix. Thanks for the 10 months. One just said. I was watching your game too. Oh, I met Twanja too. He didn't make day two either. It was, it was like basically me. I went two three. Wancha went two two, but he had one two the draft, so that was it for him. And then, let's see. That dude is a lot of damage, but I also have Shatter the Sky. He went two two, so he was out. And then Deck he went four. He was four and zero oh on day one. Was blue white, and then he. He said he punted against Inverter in the last round. I don't know how he did it on day two, but... I was watching your game two versus Breach. I think I would have countered the first hidden strings. He needed to have double strings to punish you there, but I think but dig into Tef into Breach was pretty good of. So the reason why I didn't counter the first strings is... I don't know. I think I had a pretty good reason. <laughs> but um, let, me, let me think... Like the thing is about countering hidden strings is that I think like even if he just has, I don't know, were you looking at his hand and if I counter strings, I win or were you, because the thing is that two one one tokens, but if he just has like Teferi minus or anything to kill a token, then he has like one more turn and think things get worse for me. So there's a lot of stuff as I had to be worried of, basically. Oh, he has a robber coming next turn. I could just Teferi plus, is that any good? No. All right, I'll just see go. The more I play standard, the more I feel moderate is strong. I mean, moderate seems to be doing good. 
Kenji was playing in the blue rain deck with blue white and it looks super tough. Rib did a lot of work though. Yeah, rest in peace must be probably good. I wonder if I was gonna play blue white again, if I was gonna test blue white in Pioneer, I would. What I wanna try is cut six mana Elspeth, cut one of the five mana to Fairy. I guess I'll keep doing that. Six mana, minus six mana Elspeth, minus five mana to one of the three five mana to Fairy, minus one to Fairy Time Raveler, and then add maybe a second Narset and some cycling cards, maybe two Lantern and a Narset. Lantern seems kind of good. Did you end up with any Gideons in the 75? No, so I didn't play Gideon because I didn't have time to test it and I was already okay with my inverter matchup and I was worried that the Breach deck would have an answer to Gideon main deck, that it would have either a Blink of an Eye or Fear of Wishes, which some of them did, some of them di don't, didn't, but I didn't think Gideon of the Trials would be auto win against the, the Breach deck, so that kind of that kind of tipped the scales for me, I guess. I get the Fairy Minus, and then they have to choose which one they want to play again. Because if I cast, I'll play the Fairy Minus, because what I'm hoping is that it goes to Fairy Minus, they play Annex again, and I get to Elspeth Conquered F. Was it Fairy in my yard? So I'm going to do that. Welcome back, your look when you open Elspeth and read it and read it. I mean, I was going to take it, but when you think about it, Elspeth, like, I mean, it's really good. It's a good first pick, but it's not like. I mean, if you're behind, it does nothing. So it wasn't. I mean, I was happy to have it, anyways. I talking about my game against French Blue Green Ramp? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Should you have countered the first hidden strings to game two because he needed two more strings to combo that turn? Yeah, but if I... I don't know, I felt like he didn't... You know, all he had to do is deal was one of the two tokens. He was at two. I, I didn't have enough cards in my graveyard to bring back Elspeth. So... Should I use... That, I guess. Spanishing Light deals with Frenzy. But I do on Saturday. Instead, I just hung out. We just did nothing. Kind of railbird, talked with Harry, uh, you know, the guy I do the podcast with. Can you share your thoughts on Four Man Alice? But it's really good. You should definitely play one main deck in Blue Eyed Control. It's really good against it's really good against black, it's really good in the mirror. Sometimes it's good against combo. I mean it's some there's in every matchup is gonna be good sometimes, but yeah. I, and I would probably play a second one in the sideboard if people are playing mono black. If there's no mono black in the meta, then maybe you don't need the second one. Do you think something in Pioneer needs to be banned? I mean, I think Big Fruit Time's kind of the most obvious ban if you're gonna ban something. A lot of the best decks use use Dig for Time, but I think it's kind of early to say. When is the next standard turn on? There's Worlds in two weeks, and I'm playing that, so. That's from Lord of the Rings. I've seen Lord of the Rings. I don't have a great memory. I didn't see his hand, but he had like seven cards and only six mana after he countered the first strings. He had four left, and you have one more counter. Yeah, basically, one of my counter was not live. I, I decided one of my counter was just... I mean, basically, it was just a veto, because the Salatat was, was going to get disputed, or is it Charm or something. I don't know. I thought I thought I played kind of okay. Thoughts on Swedish Saltai? I mean, it looks fun to play and strong. It's funny because actually in my PMs was was y'all on Facebook. The last messages we've exchanged was him um, sharing his uh, sharing his Saltai Traverse deck, but before Uro was printed. So basically, you'll already like that deck because he just loves Wayfinder, I guess, and Jace Rin's Prodigy. He already liked that deck before Uro got printed, and then they just gave him Uro. So he was like, well, 
this is dumb. I guess I'll, I'll play my favorite deck since they just gave me the best card for my deck. So that was kind of sick. That's, that was kind of funny. The deck looks like a pile, says the guy who plays blue light control. Yeah, our, de our deck surely doesn't look like a pile. I could like glass casket, bounce my glass casket to get a bunch of token. I glass casket. I, should, no, I don't need. I need to get fancy. All right, I should probably. Huh. I think I can bounce scorch spitter. Banning Thoughtseize wouldn't be a bad thing. Uh, isn't Thoughtseize like kind of the kind of card that keeps stupid things in check? I think we pigeoned it by not respecting mono black enough and how many people would play it. I mean, it was the most played deck and it was still like 13, 14% and I don't know. I think we, and oh yeah, they didn't have. I was like, I have a plan. all right. I don't have much going on, I guess. Still seems like I'm in a decent shape. You didn't think Mono Black would be the most played deck? I mean, what did you think was going to be the most played deck if not Mono Black? That's kind of weird not think Mono Black's gonna be the most played deck. I mean, I couldn't see Niv being the most played deck. I couldn't see Blue White Control being the most played. I guess Inverter, that's not true. It could have been Inverter. I mean, it should have been Inverter probably. Yeah. I think Inverter first and then Mono Black second because it has like an OK matchup against uh... Inverter will be most played at Phoenix. I mean, these combo decks look really strong, honestly. The, the Breach version with Fair Wishes looks sweet. Um, the Mark Tobias, Jeskai Ascendancy. I don't know what Mark's record was in, in, in Pioneer specifically, but I, I'm, I'm kind of glad I don't have to play Phoenix because I don't know what I would do. I'd probably use my time testing the combo decks, the non-inverter combo decks. Only Mark can play that deck? It's not that hard to play. It seems kind of, I mean, I'm not saying it's easy, but it doesn't seem very hard to play. It looks awesome too. Also, there's that like white-black deck. I don't even know who actually ended up winning in Japan. Like that black-white deck looks absurd. The, like Death Snow deck. I don't know, there's look like it seems like format's like tougher to solve right now than it was uh, a week ago. Sorry, I'm late. Kenta one was banned spirits. Oh yeah, there's banned spirits too that people need to worry about. That's like kind of crushed. Ken's deck can never win a game versus inverter, really? Hmm. Uh, should I kill it or bounce it and counter it? I guess I should just bounce my... Oh, I've done the hero thing before. How is this? Am I really low? 1154? I'm, I mean, I'm playing a bit slow, but not... I'm a bit slower than my opponent. Did I forget to? I'm going to have to see enough turn. Probably did. Mm, Ed cards. I'm just going to counter that. Why not? I mean, I don't think I can lose anymore. Me to be, yeah. Oh, and of the seas just game there. Yeah. But if anyone wants to still play blue eyed control in Pioneer, I would play the list I played. 
can find it on Twitter, but I would I would try and add a second Narset and a couple Soul Guide Lanterns in the main deck, maybe. And then another couple more in the sideboards. You, you need, to, I, I mean, there's so many. Or, like, you can go, like, crazy and play, try and build a Rest in Peace version, maybe. Just re Rest in Peace to first of, uh, ooh. That actually seems okay. Can I show the deck list? Um, do you have Twitter? Can you go on my Twitter account? I posted it. Another mono red. I guess people are just playing red to try and get to mythic, or is red just the best deck? I think blue light's pretty good against red. What do you think about blue red and soul? Um, it's probably not very good. I guess it was the second choice of a lot of people who ended up playing Inverter. Alright, so we have the Phoenix coming. Buys me a bit of time. It's kind of just about buying time and getting to Dream Trawler. Even though in game one, I guess I had Dream Trawler and I still lost, but I think that game one was the one where I made a bunch of stupid plays. Did the Ascendancy list get on camera? No, I don't think Mark Tobias was ever at the top of the standing, so I don't think he ever got a feature. What do you think about four spike in standard? I don't understand the question. Then what if four spike wasn't standard? Did this PT feel like a PT or was it different? I thought it felt closer to a PT than a GP. It was a bit different because there was like not the Americans and the Asians and stuff. And I mean, it didn't feel quite like a PT, but I thought it was like, I don't know. I didn't. It felt important, it, the games were, the, my match, I mean, I had a lot of pretty good openings. Uh, the level was, you know, pretty high. I mean, maybe there was a few, like, not so good player that won, like, a 20-person PTQ or something, but I didn't really s see these players. Yeah, honestly, it, I mean, if you consider the fact that there's the PT Finals now, and that's probably going to be pretty sweet, that was like, I guess, an acceptable level for that tournament. I thought it was good. Uh, I, I don't know. The Ivory Tower report is in again. It's been 33 long years of being alone in the Ivory Tower. Hopefully UWU treats you well in standard. Yellow hat pigeon. Thanks, buddy, Tal. Appreciate you hanging out all alone these uh, all these months. Shows up for 33 months. The coverage looked like GP coverage. Wasn't the coverage pretty sweet though? Like that these there was like no downtime. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't watch a ton of coverage, even though I got to watch a bit on day two. All right. So if I use that to get to resolve something, but if I use banishing light, I might not get a target for it. Hmm. Assuming I should use banishing light, but I'm not sure. Anyways, da da da. Why no brazen bars and Gatwix? I guess that's how people are building the deck right now. Because you got a bunch of new cards, so I don't know if it's just people playing the new cards and the new cards performing well, so people are kind of like not questioning the card choices. I've seen some versions with Gadwick and Brazen Boar. 
I guess you kind of have to to make you know pick one. Um, how greedy do I want to get here? I already have an inside in the in the yard. The production level was mid, but I thought they did a good job with the resources they had. Okay, fair. Was lacking though, like why? I guess it didn't feel as nice, but it was still like, still sound like they did a good job overall. I don't know. Maybe I should have countered champion. Oh, I meant like Thionel too. I didn't play the main event or the PT, but the event was pretty good from a casual side, except the lack of bathrooms, which seems to be a problem with many choices. Yeah, a lot of people complain about that. I didn't have like too many issues with going to the bathroom, I guess, I don't know. Is this Zach Allen's list? Yeah, it is. But yeah, the, the bathroom situation was not ideal, especially if, you know, when you're used to the American situation, that is usually pretty good. All right, I guess I, I should have just absorbed the champion maybe. Now I kind of dug myself into a corner. Is that gonna be enough? I'm clear. We'll see. If they have Emberclave, I'm probably just dead. There wasn't even GP coverage? Well, that was the PT coverage. <laughs> you're you're funny. Five, ten, eleven. I'm not even dead actually to have Embercleave. I go to one, I think. And I can maybe take over. When was the last time you did the orange test? What's the orange test? So I can get rid of Phoenix and that's seven damage. So I basically need to draw. I think I need to draw Shatter the Sky. I keep losing these games, so weird. Where did I go wrong? That's kind of impressive. I'm sure I must have made some mistake. I think maybe to turn the, the not absorbing the one one and then I died was absorb in hand and I used that turn to play canisters in sight. That was probably my mistake. I don't like the two Vitas. It's not my list. I'm just playing list that did well this weekend. Vito main deck seems fine. I don't know. It's a good magic card. Too much Jordling. Should I use Elfest Conquer Death on the first Phoenix? Yeah, I wanted to keep Absorb Mana, but that was definitely like something I thought about. That's probably the decision I took most time to think about. Because what happened? Did I end up dying was a five mana Elfest that never got to bring back anything? Uh, okay. Sounds like I made a million mistakes. People are pointing out at seven different turns. I like to spot the red player game, you know. They, they deserve to be spotted a game. Oh my 
Yeah, speed test? Oh. I mean, I did it not that long ago, but I have like the not, the not, the not internet. I just have that command from, from a long time ago. I need to get rid of it. Ala, ala, ala Utato. Thanks for the Twitch front tab. Give me a sec, guys. All right, I got a sub. Oh, SIDS, 17 months. It was the tier one sub. Thanks, SIDS. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that seems good. So I didn't block because I was worried about Embercleave. I think that was pretty reasonable. So I'm not really winning the race, but just hoping to draw something good, I guess. I think I had to keep Absorb on top there. Tin Street. I mean, I think I just have to counter any two, honestly, at this point because of the castle. Here, F. You got a, you got a brew. I can try your brew. If you guys have have sweet brews, I mean, as long as they're remotely playable, I can give it a try. All right, looks like we're gonna lose anyways. So I don't get it. Did I just get Blub to turn the attack Steamkin into my... All right, they had Infuriate. All right, that makes sense. All right, GG. Any thoughts on main decking Unmoored Ego in Standard? In... I mean, 